Steps Implementing the ESSER Fund Program. Disclaimer other than statutory and regulatory requirements included in the document, such as those pursuant to the authorizing statute and other applicable laws and regulations, the contents of this document do not have the force and effect of law and are not meant to bind the public in any way. This document is intended only to provide clarity to the public regarding existing requirements under the law or agency policies. In addition, it does not create or confer any rights for or on any person. The U.S. Department of Education Department may provide additional or updated information, as necessary, on the department's website at https colon slash slash oes.ed.gov slash offices slash education dash stabilization dash fund elementary dash secondary dash school dash emergency dash relief dash fund slash if you have questions that are not answered in this document, please email srf at ed.gov. 1. The Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, CARES Act, Public Law 116-136-134 Stat. 281, March 27, 2020. All citations in this document are to the CARES Act unless otherwise indicated. The provisions of the CARES Act relevant to the ESSER Fund and other Department of Education programs are available on the department's website at https colon slash slash oes.ed.gov slash offices slash education dash stabilization dash fund slash one. One, who applies to the department for ESSER formula funds only sees in the 50 states, Puerto Rico, and the District of Columbia apply directly to the Department for ESSER funds. And SEA is the agency primarily responsible for the state supervision of public elementary schools and secondary schools. Two, for example, NSEA may be called the state name Department of Education or the state name Office of Public Instruction. The Bureau of Indian Education and the outlying areas are not eligible to receive ESSER formula funds. Congress provided a separate set aside in the Education Stabilization Fund to provide funds to those entities. Two, how do school districts or other entities access ESSER formula funds? School districts lease must apply to the relevant SEA. Every SEA must use at least 90% of its ESSER fund grant to make subgrants to lease by formula based on FY 2019 Title I, Part A allocations. For more information on allocating funds to lease, see the technical appendix. 3. What happens to the other 10% of ESSER funds? An SEA may retain 10% or less of its ESSER fund grant, the SEA reserve, to address emergency needs as determined by the SEA resulting from COVID-19, which may be addressed through the use of subgrants or contracts. As described below, from the SEA reserve, the SEA may also use one half of 1% of its total grant for administrative costs. Four, who is eligible to receive ESSER funds from the SEA Reserve? A wide range of entities, including LEAS and organizations serving students and families, may be a subrecipient of funds from the SEA Reserve. A subrecipient includes any entity that receives a subgrant or contract consistent with applicable state and federal subgrant and procurement standards. Entities interested in learning more about NC's intended use of its reserve should contact the SEA. 5. May an SEA reserve ESSER funds for administrative costs? Yes. An SEA may reserve 1, fraction slash 2 of 1% or less of its total ESSER allocation for administrative costs, including both direct and indirect administrative costs. This reservation must come from the SEA reserve and is not subject to the requirement that funds be awarded within one year. Funds for administrative costs remain available to the SEA for obligation through September 30, 2022. 6. Are ESSER funds a supplement to NLEAS ESEA Title I Part A Grant Award? No. The ESSER fund is a separate federal program. ESSER funds must be awarded and tracked separately from Title I, Part A funds. To the definition of SEA is from ESEA Section 8,101.49. 2. 7. What is the overall timeline for using ESSER funds? 
Spring 2020, the department makes initial award Spring 2021, states return funds not awarded September 30, 2021, last date the department can make awards sees make awards as soon as practicable Spring Summer 2021, the department makes reallocation award September 30, 2022, last date C, Lee, or other subgrantee can obligate funds. 8. Is there a deadline by which an SEA must award ESSER funds to subrecipients? Yes. CES must award ESSER formula subgrants to LEAS within one year of receiving the state allocation. An SEA must also make awards with its SEA reserve within one year of receiving the state allocation. Any funds that the SEA fails to award by the one-year deadline must be returned to the department for reallocation consistent with the CARES Act. 9. How long are ESSER funds available for obligation by subrecipients? ESSER funds are available for obligation by LEAS and other subrecipients through September 30, 2022, which includes the tidings period, General Education Provisions Act, Paragraph 421B1. 10. What is the difference between awarding and obligating funds? An SEA awards funds when it makes a subgrant to an LEA or, in the case of the SEA reserve, when it enters into a subgrant or contract with a subrecipient. ESSER funds are obligated when the subrecipient commits those funds to specific purposes consistent with 34 CFR paragraph 76.707. If an SEA awards a contract from the SEA reserve, that is an obligation. In contrast, subgranting funds to an LEA or other subrecipients is not an obligation. Rather, these funds are not obligated until the LEA or other subrecipient commits the funds to specific purposes. 3. 11. Is a charter school eligible to receive ESSER formula funds? A charter school that is an LEA, as defined in Section 8101.30 of the ESEA, may receive an ESSER formula subgrant like any other LEA. A new or significantly expanded charter school LEA in the 2020-2021 school year is eligible to receive an ESSER formula subgrant in accordance with ESEA Section 4306 and 34 CFR Paragraph 76.792. For more information on allocating funds to new charter schools, see the technical appendix. A charter school that is not an LEA may not receive a formula subgrant, but it may receive support under ESSER through the LEA of which it is a part. 12. If an LEA did not receive an FY 2019 Title I Part A subgrant for school year 2019-2020, is it eligible to receive ESSER formula funds? No. The LEA is not eligible to receive a formula subgrant. The only exception is a new charter school LEA that did not exist in the 2019-2020 school year or a charter school LEA whose significant expansion makes it eligible for Title I Part A funds in the 2020-2021 school year. See question 11 in the technical appendix. However, any LEA may receive ESSER funds from NC's reserve, including those LEAs that are not eligible for a formula subgrant under the ESSER fund. 13. Must an LEA submit a local application to the SEA in order to receive ESSER formula funds? Yes. An LEA must file a local application with the SEA in order to receive an ESSER formula subgrant.3 for information about what an SEA must include in its local application for an ESSER formula subgrant, please refer to the ESSER fund certification and agreement. 14. May an SEA restrict or limit LEA uses of ESSER formula funds? 15. How much flexibility does an LEA have in determining the activities to support with ESSER funds? The ESSER fund provides least considerable flexibility in determining how best to use ESSER funds. See Section 18003D. For example, LEAs may use ESSER funds for personal protective equipment, PPE, cleaning and sanitizing materials, and similar supplies necessary to maintain school operations during and after the COVID-19 pandemic. Since learning can and should continue, 
the department encourages leads to target ESSER funding on activities that will support remote learning for all students, especially disadvantaged or at-risk students and their teachers. Three, for further information, please see 34 CFR paragraph 76.301. No, the ESSER fund provides a broad, permissive list of allowable LEA activities in section 18003D. Cs do not have the authority to limit the uses of ESSER formula funds. 4. 16. Are in Lee's ESSER formula funds subject to the requirements of Title I, Part A of the ESEA, or other federal education program requirements, if an LEA uses ESSER formula funds for an allowable activity under such program? No. Although an LEA receives ESSER formula funds by the Title I, Part A formula, ESSER formula funds are not Title I, Part A funds and are not subject to Title I, Part A requirements. The CARES Act authorizes a broad array of potential uses of ESSER formula funds under a number of federal education statutes. No associated statutory requirements of any of those programs apply to ESSER funds. 17. May an LEA use its ESSER formula funds to support any school in the district, regardless of a school's Title I, Part A status? Yes. The CARES Act does not define how an LEA distributes funds to schools. An LEA may support any school in the district or it may target funds based on poverty, indication of school needs, or other targeting measures. 18. Is there any difference in the amount of funds or allowable uses of funds for a school that implements a school-wide program under Title I, Part A as compared to a school that provides targeted support under Title I, Part A? No. The requirements of Title I, Part A do not apply to ESSER funds. An LEA may support any of its schools using ESSER funds for any allowable activities under 18,003D without regard to Title I eligibility, program type, or funding. 19. Are LEAs required to provide equitable services to non-public schools with ESSER funds? Yes. Please see the document providing equitable services to students and teachers in non-public schools under the CARES Act programs for more information. 20. Are ESSER funds subject to a supplanting prohibition? No. The ESSER fund does not contain a supplanting prohibition. As a result, ESSER funds may take the place of state or local funds for allowable activities. However, the program does contain a maintenance of effort, MOE, requirement, which is designed to keep states from substantially reducing their support for K-12 education. 444 for further information, please see Section 18008 of the CARES Act. The department will separately address the MOE requirement in a separate set of frequently asked questions. 5. 21. May an SEA or LEA use ESSER funds for allowable costs incurred prior to receiving grant funds? Yes. An SEA and LEA may use ESSER funds for any allowable expenditure incurred on or after March 13, 2020, the date the President declared the national emergency due to COVID-19. 22. Should SEAS and LEAS anticipate monitoring or auditing of ESSER funds? Yes. The department will monitor the use of ESSER funds. In addition, ESSER funds are subject to audit requirements under the Single Audit Act and to review by the Government Accountability Office. The Department's Office of the Inspector General may audit program implementation, as may any other federal agency, commission, or department in the lawful exercise of its jurisdiction and authority. 6. Technical Appendix Making ESSER formula subgrants to lease this technical appendix has been prepared for the benefit of state administrators who are tasked with making formula subgrants to lease under the ESSER fund. ESSER requirement A state educational agency, SEA, must allocate at least 90% of its total ESSER fund grant by formula to lease. The SEA must determine each lease ESSER allocation in proportion to the amount of funds the LEA received under Title I. Part A of the Elementary and Secondary Education Act of 1965, ESEA, in the most recent fiscal year. Section 18003C of the CARES Act. Title I, 
Part A subgrants to lease for the purpose of allocating SR funds to lease. The following points regarding Title I, Part A subgrants apply. Federal Fiscal Year, FY 2019 Title I, Part A subgrants that were awarded by each SEA to lease for the 2019-2020 school year are the most recent Title I, Part A funds on which an SEA bases SR fund subgrants. Therefore, with the exception of Step 6 below relating to new or significantly expanded charter school lease in school year 2020-2021, an SEA has the data needed to calculate SRLE allocations because the SEA has already determined the FY 2019 Title I Part A LEA subgrant amounts. FY 2019 Title I Part A subgrants are those that each SEA determined under Subpart 2 of Title I Part A, that is, the aggregate of basic grants, concentration grants, targeted grants and education finance incentive grants for which each LEA was eligible after the SEA adjusted in accordance with the regulations in 34 CFR paragraph paragraph 200.70-200.755 and paragraph 200.1006 the LEA allocations on the census list calculated by the department.7. The following are not part of FY 2019 Title I, Part A LEA subgrant amounts and SEA uses to calculate SRLE allocations, OFY 2017 or 2018 carryover funds, O funds reallocated to an LEA by the SEA under ESEA Section 1126C, O funds in LEA received under ESEA Section 1003 for school improvement. 5. The regulations in 34 CFR paragraph paragraph 200.70-200.75 address adjusting for lease that are not on the census list, such as charter school lease, applying the hold harmless after adjusting for lease that are not on the census list, alternative allocations for lease under 20,000 total population, and special procedures for calculating concentration grants in small states available at https colon slash slash www.ecfr.gov slash cgi dash bin slash text dash x sid equals ea 8 f 771199 b 0 a 9 a 1 f 0 6 8 8 5 7 8 5 5 2 0 8 4 and mc equals true and node equals sg 34.1.200 underscore 169.sg5 ampersand rgn equals div 7 6 the regulations in 34 cfr paragraph 200.100 address nc's reservation of funds for school improvement under esea section 1003 including application of the special rule in section 1003 h funds for state administration under esea section 1004 and funds for direct student services under esea section 1003 a https colon slash slash www.ecfr.gov slash cgi dash bin slash text dash x sid equals ea 8 f 771199 b 0 a 9 a 1 f 0 6 8 8 5 7 8 5 5 2 0 8 4 and mc equals true and node equals say 34.1.200 underscore 1100 ampersand rgn equals div 8 7. Additional information on the SEA adjustment process to determine LEA Title I, Part A subgrants is provided on pages 210 in the Department's non-regulatory guidance on ESA fiscal changes, available at https colon slash slash www.ed.gov slash policy slash lc slash leg slash ESA slash ESA guidance 160477.pdf 7. O funds and LEA received under ESEA Section 1003A for direct student services. O funds and LEA received to carry out Title I, Part 500, Subpart 2 I, funds generated by children in local institutions for delinquent children. O reductions to enlease FY 2019 Title I, Part A subgrant due to a failure to meet the ESEA's maintenance of effort requirements in the preceding fiscal year and at least once in the five immediately preceding fiscal years. Oh, any adjustments from FY 2018 that an SEA made to FY 2019 Title I, Part A subgrant amounts. OFY oh, 2019 Title I, Part A funds that an LEA declined.
Steps to calculate ESSER subgrants to lease. These steps describe the procedures NSEA follows to calculate the ESSER lease allocations. NSEA can complete steps one through five in order to make ESSER subgrants to existing eligible lease. The SEA completes step six once it has determined whether any new charter schoolies have opened for school year 2020-2021 or any existing charter schoolies have significantly expanded for school year 2020-2021, e.g., during the fall of 2020. See SEA section 4306. An example follows each step with a combined example for steps two and three. Please note that an SEA must complete these steps, including step six, and make subgrants to lease within one year of NC's receipt of ESSER funds. Any funds not awarded to lease by that deadline must be returned to the department for reallocation to other states. See section 18003F of the CARES Act. Step one. The SEA determines the total amount of ESSER funds it has available to allocate to lease through the ESSER formula by determining the amount, if any, of ESSER funds it will retain for the SEA reserve, a maximum of 10% of its total ESSER fund grant, including funds for state administration. Subtracting the SEA reserve amount from the C's total ESSER allocation to determine the total amount available for LEA subgrants and if a state has charter school lease, subtracting from the total amount of ESSER funds available for LEA subgrants a reasonable amount to retain for new charter school lease or charter school lease that will significantly expand in school year 2020-2021 consistent with ESEA section 4306. Temporarily retaining funds from the total amount of ESSER funds available for LEA subgrants for new charter school lease or charter school lease that will significantly expand in school year 2020-2021 will reduce the likelihood that an SEA will have to reduce the ESSER subgrants of other lease once the SEA has the data to calculate the ESSER subgrant of such charter school lease. See Step 6B. 8. Example of step one row category amount row one row two row three row four row five C's ESSER allocation SEA reserve 10% of row one amount of ESSER funds for LEA subgrants row one minus row two funds retained for new significantly expanded charter school LEA subgrants total amount available to allocate to lease row three minus row four eighty million dollars eight million dollars seventy two million dollars one million dollars seventy one million dollars step two the SEA identifies each lease FY 2019 Title I, Part A subgrant amount, as described above under Title I, Part A subgrants to lease. Step 3, the SEA adds the FY 2019 Title I, Part A LEA subgrants to determine the total amount of FY 2019 Title I, Part A subgrants. Example of Step 2 and Step 3 FY 2019 Title I, Part A subgrant amount $10,904,507.297.247,497.242,050.411,721,800,21,000,821,000,809,000,895,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000
million dollar point zero two seven two ninety million dollar point two eight eight six thirteen million six hundred ninety four thousand two hundred seventy seven dollars charter lea two hundred fifty seven thousand four hundred seventy nine dollars charter lea three hundred thirty two thousand fifty dollars five million seven hundred seventy one thousand eight hundred twenty one dollars zero dollars three million seven hundred sixty five thousand nine hundred fifty nine dollars twenty six million eight hundred fifty two thousand one hundred thirty five dollars two million four hundred forty nine thousand nine hundred seventy nine dollar example of step four lea operating in school year two 2019-2020 Lee's FY 2019. Title I, Part A subgrant amount from Step 2. Total amount of FY 2019 Title I, Part A LEA subgrants from Step 3. Proportion of the ESSER formula funds that the LEA receives. Step 2 divided by Step 3, $10,904,500. Step 5. The SEA multiplies the proportion identified in Step 4 by the portion of its ESSER funds that it will immediately distribute by formula as determined in Step 1 to calculate each LEA's ESSER subgrant. Example of Step 5 LEA 1 LEA 2 LEA 3 LEA 4 LEA 5 LEA 6 LEA 7 LEA 8 LEA 9 LEA 10.2886 Total LEA operating in school year 2019-2020 Proportion of the ESSER formula funds that the LEA receives from step 4, total amount of ESSER funds available to allocate to lease. From step 1, ESSER lease subgrant amount determined in step 1 multiplied by step 4.1522.71 million dollars. Charter LEA $0.002971 million dollars. Charter LEA $0.003771 million dollar point zero six four one seventy one million dollar point zero 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 seventy one million dollar point zero four one eight seventy one million dollar point two nine eight four seventy one million dollar point one two one two seventy one million dollars eight million six hundred two thousand four hundred thirty nine dollars ten million eight hundred three thousand two hundred sixty three dollars two hundred three thousand one hundred twenty two dollars two hundred sixty one thousand nine hundred fifty one dollars four million five hundred fifty three thousand three hundred twenty five dollars zero dollars two million nine hundred seventy thousand nine hundred twenty three dollars twenty one million one hundred eighty three thousand three hundred fifty one dollars one million nine hundred thirty two thousand seven hundred sixty one dollars twenty million four hundred eighty eight thousand eight hundred sixty five dollars seventy one million dollar point Zero two seven two seventy one million dollars seventy one million dollars ten. Step six: The SEA recalculates the SRLE allocations after it determines whether there are any new charter schoolies or any existing charter schoolies that significantly expanded for school year 2020-2021 in accordance with the definition of significant expansion of enrollment in 34 CFR paragraph 76.787.8 step 6a applies only if for school year 2020-2021 there are no new charter school leads or charter school leads that significantly expanded in a state the SEA allocates the amount it retained under step 1 for potential new charter school leads to the lease to which it made lesser subgrant allocations in proportion to those amounts Example of step 6A column 1 Lee 1 Lee 2 Lee 3 Lee Lee 4 Lee Lee 5 Lee 6 Lee 7 Lee 8 Lee 9 Lee 8 10 Total column 2.1212.1522.0029.0032.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024.0024
$89.64,000, column 68,723,600, $22,200,940,645,640,4,647,401,647,21,489,959,983,20,777,441 L EA operating in school year 2019-2020 proportion of ESSER formula funds that the LEA receives from step 4 initial ESSER leave subgrant from step 5 amount SEA retained for new or significantly expanded charter leaves from step 1 ESSER leave allocation of retained amount column 4 multiplied by column 2 revised ESSER leave subgrant column 3 plus column 5 charter Charter $71 million, $1 million, $72 million. Step 6B applies only if for school year 2020 2021. There are new charter schoolies or charter schoolies that significantly expanded in a state. The SEA recalculates its SRE allocations based on the total amount available for LEA subgrants in order to determine the ESSER subgrant amounts for a new charter school LEA or a significantly expanded charter school LEA and makes any necessary adjustments to the ESSER LEA subgrants that the SEA already awarded based on the calculations described in steps 1 through 5. 8. An SEA will implement step 6 after the SEA determines whether there are any new charter school leaves or charter school leaves that significantly expanded for school year 2020-2021 based on receiving written notification from a charter school LEA at least 120 days prior to the date the school is scheduled to open or significantly expand. C 34 C.F.R. Paragraph 76.788. Thus, this step likely will not occur until fall 2020. It must occur within one year of the C's receipt of SR funds or the SEA must return the funds to the department for reallocation to other states. 11. As background, for a newly opened charter school LEA or a charter school LEA that significantly expands for school year 2020-2021, and SEA does not have an actual FY 2019 title I, part A subgrant amount for the LEA that reflects either status. ESEA section 4306A, however, requires, with respect to any funds that the department allocates to states on a formula basis, including the ESSER fund, a state to take such measures as are necessary to ensure that every charter school receives the federal funding for which the charter school is eligible not later than five months after the charter school first opens, notwithstanding the fact that the identity and characteristics of the students enrolling in that charter school are not fully and completely determined until that charter school actually opens. The measures similarly shall ensure that every charter school expanding its enrollment in any subsequent year of operation receives the federal funding for which the charter school is eligible not later than five months after such expansion. In order to comply with ESEA Section 4306A, an SEA must determine an ESSER lease up grant allocation for a new or significantly expanded charter school in school year 2020-2021 by deriving what the charter school lease FY 2019 title I, Part A allocation would have been based on the characteristics of the charter school lease students in school year 2020-2021. As detailed in the next paragraph, an SEA already derives this amount for calculating FY 2020 Title I, Part A allocations to comply with ESEA Section 4306C. Independent of the CARES Act, as part of calculating a new or significantly expanded charter school lease FY 2020, 20 Title I, Part A Allocation, ESEA Section 4306C requires an SEA, for purposes of implementing the Title I, 
Part A hold harmless protections in ESEA sections 1122C and 1125A F3 for a newly opened or significantly expanded charter school LEA to derive hold harmless base under each Title I. Part A formula for FY 2019 that reflects the new or significantly expanded enrollment of the charter school LEA.9. Therefore, in order to calculate the ESSER allocation of a new or significantly expanded charter school LEA, an SEA will consider such and leaves FY 2019 Title I, Part A allocation as the sum of its hold harmless base under each Title I, Part A formula that the SEA calculates for FY 2020 Title I. Part A allocations in accordance with ESEA section 4306C. An example of calculating the ESSER allocation for a new or significantly expanded charter school LEA and adjusting the ESSER subgrants and SEA already made, as shown in steps 1 5, follows on the next page. 9 For more information on ESEA section 4306, CC pages 4 7 in the department's non regulatory guidance on ESA fiscal changes, available at https colon slash slash www.ed.gov slash policy slash lc slash leg slash ESA slash ESA guidance 160477.pdf 12. Column 1 Lee 1 Lee 2 Lee 4 Lee Lee 5 Lee 6 Lee 7 Lee 8 Lee 9 Lee 8 10 Total Column 2 8 million 602,000, $3,439,000, $10,800,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,000, $2,000,
All right, so let me see if I can. I got to move this over just a little bit. It just needs to move. All right. I don't want to select all of the text. Select it all. Then I want to just start reading it. And it does it just like magic. Providing equitable services to students and teachers in non-public schools under the CARES Act programs, U.S. Department of Education, Washington, D.C. 20,202 revised October 9th. 2020 purpose of this document the purpose of this document is to provide information about equitable services for students and teachers in non-public schools under the coronavirus aid relief and economic security act cares act pub l no 116 136 134 stat 281 march 27th 2020. The CARES Act authorized the Education Stabilization Fund, ESF, which is a new appropriation of $30.75 billion that creates funding streams for several distinct education programs that address the impact of coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19, on educational services across the nation. Under these programs, the U.S. Department of Education Department will make awards to governors, state educational agencies, C's, and institutions of higher education, IAGs, to help states to prevent, prepare for, and respond to the devastating effects of COVID-19. The provisions of the CARES Act relevant to the SF and other department programs are available on the department's website at https colon slash slash oes.ed.gov slash offices slash education dash stabilization dash fund slash two programs in the ESF report require a local educational agency, LEA, that receives funds to provide equitable services to students and teachers in non-public schools. The Governor's Emergency Education Relief Fund, GEAR Fund, totaling $2,953,230,000, Section 18,002 of the CARES Act. The Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief Fund, ESSER Fund, totaling $13,229,265,000, Section 18,003 of the CARES Act. The Department first issued guidance on April 30, 2020. Subsequently, on July 1, 2020, the Department published an interim final rule, IFR 85 FR 39,479, to implement key requirements governing equitable services. The IFR was challenged in four U.S. District Courts, Washington v. Devos, No. 220 CV 1119 BJR, 2020 WL5079038 WD Washington. August 21. 2020, granting preliminary injunction against the department. Michigan v. Devos, no. 320 CV 4478 JB, 2020 WL5074397, ND Cal. August 26, 2020, granting preliminary injunction against the department. NAACP v. Devos, no. 20 CV 1996, DLF, 2020 WL5291406, D, DC September 4, 2020, vacating the IFR, and Council of Parent Attorneys and Advocates, Incorporated v. Devos, no. 120 CV 2310 GLR, DMD. The three courts that issued decisions concluded that an LEA must determine the proportional share available to provide equitable services to non-public school students and teachers in accordance with Section 1117A4A of the Elementary and Secondary Education Act of 1965, ESEA. This document revises the April 30th guidance to align with the court's decisions. Other than statutory and regulatory requirements included in this document, such as those pursuant to the CARES Act and other applicable laws and regulations, the contents of the department's guidance do not have the force and effect of law and are not meant to bind the public in any way. This document is intended only to provide clarity to the public regarding existing requirements under the law or agency policies. In addition, 
It does not create or confer any rights for or on any person. The department will provide additional or updated information as necessary on the department's COVID-19 webpage, https colon slash slash www.ed.gov slash coronavirus. If you have questions that are not answered in this document, please email covid-19 at ed.gov. 2. Table of Contents 1. Does the requirement to provide equitable services to students and teachers in non-public schools apply to any programs under the CARES Act? 1. 2. What is a non-public school under the CARES Act programs? 1. 3. Is a for-profit non-public school eligible to receive equitable services for its students and teachers under the CARES Act programs? 1. 4. Which LEA is responsible for providing equitable services to non-public school students and teachers under the CARES Act programs? 1. 5. Must an LEA or another public agency maintain control of CARES Act funds used to provide equitable services? 2. 6. Who is responsible for initiating the consultation process and how should it begin? 2. 7. How does an LEA that receives funds under the CARES Act programs provide equitable services in the same manner as provided under a Section 1117 of the SEA? Point three. Eight. Must an LEA offer to provide equitable services under the CARES Act programs to students and teachers in all non-public schools located in the LEA, even if a non-public school has not previously participated in equitable services under Title I, Part A or Title VIII of the SEA? 5. 9. Are all students and teachers in a non-public school eligible to receive equitable services under the CARES Act programs? 5. 10. How does an LEA determine the proportional share of funds that must be reserved to provide equitable services to non-public school students and teachers under the CARES Act programs? 5A. What is the base amount on which the proportional share is determined? 5B. What data does an LEA use to determine the proportional share? 6 degrees Celsius. How does an LEA calculate the proportional share? 6. 11. After an LEA has determined the proportional share of funds for equitable services under each CARES Act program, how does it then determine the amount of funds available for services to students and teachers in individual non-public schools? 6. 12. Do the requirements in 34 CFR paragraph 200.66 apply to equitable services under the CARES Act programs? 7. 13. Is a non-public school whose students and teachers receive equitable services under the CARES Act programs a recipient of federal financial assistance? 7. 14. What services and benefits under the CARES Act programs are available to non-public school students and teachers? 7.3. Providing equitable services to students and teachers in non-public schools under the CARES Act programs, yes. The CARES Act establishes two new funds to which equitable services requirements apply. Specifically, a local educational agency, LEA, that receives funds under either the Governor's Emergency Education Relief Fund, GEAR Fund, Section 18002 of the CARES Act, or the Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief Fund, ESSER Fund, Section 18003 of the CARES Act, CARES Act programs, for purposes of this document, must provide equitable services to students and teachers in non-public schools in the same manner as provided under Section 1117 of the Elementary and Secondary Education Act of 1965, ESEA, Section 18005A of the CARES Act. An institution of higher education or education-related entity that receives funds under the GEAR Fund is not required to provide equitable services to students and teachers in non-public schools. 1. Does the requirement to provide equitable services to students and teachers in non-public schools apply to any programs under the CARES Act? 2. What is a non-public school under the CARES Act programs? 
A non-public school means a non-public elementary or secondary school that A. is accredited, licensed, or otherwise operates in accordance with state law, and B. was in existence prior to the date of the qualifying emergency for the CARES Act programs. Section 18007 6 of the CARES Act. For purposes of this definition, the date of the qualifying emergency is March 13, 2020. 3. Is a for profit non public school eligible to receive equitable services for its students and teachers under the CARES Act programs? No. A for profit non public school is not eligible to receive equitable services for its students and teachers under the CARES Act programs. Section 18007 6 of the CARES Act defines a non public school as a non public elementary or secondary school. Section 18007 8 of the CARES Act incorporates the definitions in ESCA Section 8101 for any terms not defined in the CARES Act. ESEA Section 8101, 19 and 45 defines elementary school and secondary school, respectively, and specifies that they must be nonprofit. 4. Which LEA is responsible for providing equitable services to non public school students and teachers under the CARES Act programs? The department has determined that, under the CARES Act programs, the LEA in which a non-public school is located is responsible for providing equitable services to students and teachers in the school, as it is under most ESEA programs that require an LEA to provide equitable services. Outside of Title I, Part A, the responsibility typically falls on the LEA in which a non-public school is located because equitable services are generally available one. To all students or teachers in the non-public school in the LEA and the LEA in which the school is located is closest and best able to meet the needs of students and teachers. Title I, Part A of the ESEA is different. ESEA Section 1117 sets forth a student residency requirement, rather than a school location requirement, for receipt of equitable services under Title I. Part A. Only low achieving students who live in a participating Title I public school attendance area are eligible for services and, therefore, the LEA where students reside is responsible for providing equitable services. The CARES Act programs have no such residency requirement for eligibility for services. Rather, the CARES Act programs provide least full discretion unless funds are targeted for a specific purpose or population of public and non-public school students by the governor under the GEAR Fund or by an SEA through the SEA Reserve under the ESSER Fund, see Section 18003E of the CARES Act, to use CARES Act funds to provide educational services to students in public and non-public schools in the LEA through a broad range of allowable activities. Thus, Providing equitable services with CARES Act funds is similar to other ESEA programs where equitable services are provided by the LEA in which a non-public school is located. 5. Must an LEA or another public agency maintain control of CARES Act funds used to provide equitable services? Yes. Control of funds for services and assistance provided to non-public school students and teachers under the CARES Act programs entitled to materials, equipment and property purchased with such funds, must be in a public agency, and a public agency must administer such funds, materials, equipment, and property. In other words, no funds may go directly to a non-public school. In addition, services for non-public school students and teachers must be provided by a public agency directly or through contract with another public or private entity. Section 18005B of the CARES Act. 6. Who is responsible for initiating the consultation process and how should it begin? Similar to how an LEA provides equitable services under the ESEA, an LEA is responsible for initiating the consultation process consistent with Section 1117B1 of the ESEA. It must contact officials in all non-public schools in the LEA to notify them of the opportunity for their students and teachers to obtain equitable services under the CARES Act programs. Through this initial contact, the LEA can explain the services available under the CARES Act programs and how non-public school students and teachers can participate. If non-public school officials have not been contacted, 
They may contact the LEA or the state ombudsman to inquire about equitable services under the CARES Act programs. If non-public school officials want equitable services for their students and teachers, the LEA must consult with those officials during the design and development of the lease programs and before the LEA makes any decision that affects the opportunity of non-public school students and teachers to participate in the activities funded under the CARES Act programs. If a non-public school declines to participate in the CARES Act programs or does not respond to an lease good faith effort to make contact, the LEA has no further responsibility to provide equitable services to students or teachers in that school. The LEA, too, however, must be able to demonstrate that it made a good faith effort to contact all the non-public schools in the LEA. An LEA that receives funds under the CARES Act programs must provide equitable services to students and teachers in a non-public school in the same manner as provided under Section 1117 of the SEA, as determined in consultation with representatives of non-public schools. Section 18005 of the CARES Act. In particular, the proportional share for a CARES Act program must be determined in accordance with Section 1117A4A of the SEA. The requirements of Section 1117 apply as outlined below. 1117A1, under Title I, Part A, an LEA must provide equitable services to low-achieving students as defined in the SEA Section 1115C who reside in a participating Title I public school attendance area and attend a non-public school and to their teachers. Under the CARES Act programs, an LEA may provide equitable services with CARES Act funds to any students and teachers in non-public schools unless limited by a governor under Section 18002 of the CARES Act or an SEA through the C's Reserve under Section 18003E of the CARES Act. See questions number 8 and number 9. 1117A2, under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, an LEA must provide equitable services and other benefits, including materials and equipment, that are secular, neutral, and non-ideological. 1117A3A, under Title I, Part A, an LEA must provide services and other benefits for eligible non-public school students and teachers in a timely manner that are equitable in comparison to the services and benefits provided for public school students and teachers. Unlike Title I, the CARES Act does not limit eligibility for receipt of services. 1117A3B, under Title I, Part A, an SEA must designate an ombudsman to monitor and enforce the equitable services requirements. Mm -hmm. An SEA must use the ombudsman also to monitor and enforce the requirements of the, the CARES Act programs is. that an LEA provide equitable services mm -hmm. to students and teachers in non-public schools. 1117A4A, under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, an LEA must determine the proportional share available to provide equitable services to students and teachers in non-public schools in accordance with Section 1117A4A of the SEA. The LEA determines the proportional share under each CARES Act program separately. See question number 10. 1117A4B, under Title I, Part A, an LEA must obligate funds available for equitable services in the fiscal year for which the funds are received by the LEA. An LEA must obligate CARES Act funds for equitable services in the fiscal years for which those funds are intended for services to address the impact of COVID-19. 7. How does an LEA that receives funds under the CARES Act programs provide equitable services in the same manner as provided under Section 1117 of the SEA? 3. 1117A4C, under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, an SEA must provide notice in a timely manner to appropriate non-public school officials in the state of the allocation of funds for educational services and other benefits that each LEA has determined are available for non-public school students and teachers. 1117A5 under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, services may be provided either directly or through contracts with public and private agencies, organizations, and institutions. 1117B1, 
under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, an LEA must consult with appropriate non-public school officials during the design and development of the lease activities on relevant issues such as those contained in this section of Title I, Part A. The LEA and non-public school officials shall both have the goal of reaching agreement on how to provide equitable and effective services, and the LEA must transmit the results of that agreement to the Ombudsman. 1117b2, under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, if an LEA disagrees with the views of non-public school officials during consultation, the LEA must provide in writing to the non-public school officials the reasons why the LEA disagrees. 1117b3, under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, consultation must occur before an LEA makes any decision that affects the opportunities of non-public students and teachers to receive equitable services. Meetings between the LEA and non-public school officials need not occur in person if they cannot be conducted due to closed schools or social distancing rules. In this case, the department recommends LEAs and non-public school officials consult remotely. 1117b4, under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, consultation must include discussion of service delivery mechanisms and LEA may use to provide equitable services. 1117b5, under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, an LEA must maintain and provide to the SEA written affirmation signed by non-public school officials that timely and meaningful consultation has occurred and, if non-public school officials do not provide such affirmation, the LEA must forward to the SEA the documentation that such consultation has, or attempts at such consultation have, taken place. 1117b6, under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, non-public school officials have a right to file a complaint with the SEA. The SEA must provide services directly or through contracts if requested to do so by non-public school officials, and the SEA determines that the LEA did not meet applicable requirements. 1117c1, under Title I, Part A, to determine the proportional share, an LEA must calculate the number of children, ages 5 through 17, who are from low-income families, reside in a participating title by public school attendance area, and attend private schools. Under the CARES Act programs, if an LEA uses the proportional share calculated for title by purposes under Section 1117A4A of the SEA, the LEA need not collect poverty data from non-public schools. If and for LEA does not have a title by proportional share, it may determine the proportional share under a CARES Act program using poverty data as determined under Section 1117C1 of the SEA. See question number 10 for information on determining the proportional share of CARES Act funds the LEA must reserve to provide equitable services to non-public school students and teachers. 1117C2, under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, non-public school officials may file a complaint with the SCA if they dispute the count of children, ages 5 through 17, from low-income families. 1117D1, under Title I, Part A, control of funds entitled to materials, equipment, and property must be in public agency. With respect to the CARES Act programs, this provision is superseded by Section 18005B of the CARES Act, which also requires public control of funds. See question number 5. 1117D2, under both Title I, Part A and the CARES Act programs, services must be provided by employees of a public agency or through a contract, be independent of the private school, and be under control and supervision of the public agency. 8. Must an LEA offer to provide equitable services under the CARES Act programs to students and teachers in all non-public schools located in the LEA? even if a non-public school has not previously participated in equitable services under Title I, Part A, or Title VIII of the SEA? Yes, an LEA must offer to provide equitable services under the CARES Act programs to students and teachers in all non-public schools located in the LEA, 
even if a non-public school has not previously participated under Title I, Part A, or Title VIII of the SEA. 9. Are all students and teachers in a non-public school eligible to receive equitable services under the CARES Act programs? Yes. All students and teachers in a non-public school are eligible to receive equitable services under the CARES Act programs, unless a governor, under the CARE Fund, or an SEA, through the SEA Reserve under the ESSER Fund, targets funds for a specific purpose or population of public and non-public school students. Unlike Title I, Part A, which limits eligibility for services to low-achieving students residing in a participating Title I school attendance area, Section 18,005A of the CARES Act does not impose any such eligibility requirements and instead requires an LEA to provide equitable services to students and teachers in non-public schools. 10. How does an LEA determine the proportional share of funds that must be reserved to provide equitable services to non-public school students and teachers under the CARES Act programs? A. What is the base amount on which the proportional share is determined? Under ESEA Section 1117A4A2, an LEA must determine the proportional share available for equitable services from the total amount of Title I, Part A funds it receives prior to reserving funds for allowable expenditures such as 5. B. Administrative costs or district-wide expenditures and before making allocations to participating public schools. Because Section 18,005A of the CARES Act requires an LEA to provide equitable services under the CARES Act programs in the same manner as provided under Section 1117, an LEA must use the total allocation it receives under each CARES Act program to determine the proportional share available for equitable services before reserving funds for other purposes. What data does an LEA use to determine the proportional share? An LEA must calculate the proportional share in accordance with Section 1117A4A of the SEA. In doing so, it may use the proportional share calculated for title and purposes from either school year 2019-2020 or 2020-2021. See how does an LEA calculate the proportional share? To determine the proportional share for a CARES Act program, an LEA may use the proportional share it calculated under Section 1117A4A of the SEA for title and purposes in either school year 2019-2020 or 2020-2021. In the following example, an LEA receives $100,000 in GEAR funds and $900,000 in ESSER funds and it chooses to use the Title I, Part A proportional share for the 2019-2020 school year which was 15% for non-public school students. The LEA determines the proportional share of its geared funds awarded to lease and debtor funds based on the same proportional share that it used to determine the amount of Title I, Part A funds available for equitable services for the 2019-2020 school year, 15%. Thus, as illustrated in the table below, the proportional shares for the gear fund and desser fund equal 15% of the lease total gear fund and desser fund allocations. Example, determining the proportional share for a CARES Act program using the proportional share of Title I, Part A funds calculated under Section 1117A4A for the 2019-2020 school year proportion of Title I, Part A funds for equitable services 2019 85%, 15%, 100% proportional share gear fund, proportional share ESSER fund, Title I public $85,000, $765,000 non-public asterisk $15,000, $135,000 total $100,000, $900,000 asterisk non-public schools participating under a CARES Act program. 11. After an LEA has determined the proportional share of funds for equitable services under each CARES Act program, how does it then determine the amount of funds available for services to students and teachers in individual non-public schools? In order to determine the amount of funds available to provide equitable services to students and teachers in a given non-public school, an LEA, after reserving funds that are six reasonable and necessary for administering equitable services under the CARES Act programs, must consult with appropriate private school officials, 
For example, informed by the consultation, an LEA might divide the remainder of the proportional share of funds available for equitable services by the total enrollment in non-public schools whose students and teachers will participate in each of the CARES Act programs to obtain a per-pupil amount. The LEA would then multiply that per-pupil amount by the enrollment in an individual non-public school to determine the amount of services the LEA can provide to students and teachers in that school. Similarly, an LEA, through consultation, might calculate the funds available for services in individual non-public schools giving greater weight to student characteristics such as poverty. With agreement between the LEA and appropriate non-public school officials, the LEA may pool funds among a group of non-public schools and provide equitable services to students and teachers in non-public schools within the pool based on need without regard to how the funds were generated. Oh. CSEA Section 1117B1JI 12. Do the requirements in 34 CFR paragraph 200.66 apply to equitable services under the CARES Act programs? No. The requirements in 34 CFR paragraph 200.66 do not apply to equitable services under the CARES Act programs. 34 CFR paragraph 200.66 is a Title I, Part A regulation that requires an LEA to provide Title I, Part A services that, one, supplement, and in no case supplant, the services that would, in the absence of Title I, Part A services, be available to participating non-public school students, and two, only meet the needs of participating non-public school students and not the needs of the non-public school or the general needs of children in the non-public school. Unlike Title I, the CARES Act does not have a supplement, not supplant requirement. Equitable services under the CARES Act programs are much broader than under Title I, Part A. Equitable services under the CARES Act programs, by definition, may benefit the non-public school, such as purchasing supplies to sanitize and clean the facility, or all students in a non-public school, such as any activity authorized under the ESEA. No. A non-public school whose students and teachers receive equitable services under the CARES Act programs is not a recipient of federal financial assistance. A public agency must control and administer the CARES Act funds. In other words, no funds may go directly to a non-public school. See question number five. Thus, a non-public school is not a recipient of federal financial assistance by virtue of its students and teachers receiving equitable services from an LEA under a CARES Act program. As a result, certain federal requirements that apply to a recipient of federal financial assistance are not directly applicable to a non-public school whose students or teachers receive equitable services under the CARES Act programs, unless the school otherwise receives federal financial assistance for other purposes. 13. Is a non-public school whose students and teachers receive equitable services under the CARES Act programs a recipient of federal financial assistance? 14. What services and benefits under the CARES Act programs are available to non-public school students and teachers? 7. In general, the services and benefits available to non-public school students and teachers are the same as those available to public school students and teachers. Specifically, the ESSER funds that flow to a lease by formula may be used for a broad range of allowable activities. See Section 18003D of the CARES Act. The ESSER funds that an SEA may reserve for state purposes may also be used for a broad range of activities to address issues responding to COVID-19, unless the SEA decides to target them for a specific purpose or population of public and non-public school students. For example, an SEA could target the SEA reserve to provide technology to support distance learning for public and non-public school students from low-income families. See Section 18003E of the CARES Act. Similarly, a governor may target geared funds that it makes available to an LEA for a specific purpose or population of public and non-public school students. See Section 18002C1 or 3 of the CARES Act. In sum, equitable services permitted under Sections 18002C1 or 3, as applicable, 
and 18,003D of the CARES Act must be available to best meet the needs of non-public school students and teachers, as determined through timely and meaningful consultation and consistent with any specific purposes established by a governor under the Geared Fund or SEA through the SEA Reserve under the ESSER Fund regardless of the specific uses determined by the LEA to meet its own students and teachers' particular needs. As noted in question number five, the control of any services or assistance provided to students and teachers in a non-public school entitled to materials, equipment, and property purchased with CARES Act funds must be in a public agency, and a public agency must administer those funds, materials, equipment, and property. A public entity must provide those services either directly or through a contract with the public or private entity. 8. Well, that was certainly interesting as now we understand that everybody has a right to have services. And I don't know about that NRS 388 little G because that just moves money and moves services in that $155 million that they thought they found. But then the rules around redistribution, perhaps it will leave Nevada since it's so much money, $155 million. Well, so have to share. That was definitely interesting and I'm going to stop the live. Uh, educate yourself, you know, wake up in 2021 before 2022 will be too late. <laughs>